It's time for me to save NBA 2K21 next gen. Hey, with everybody going back to NBA 2K20 because this version of the game is absolutely atrocious and no fun to play, I have other thoughts in mind. I've done it before and I could do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, today's objective is very simple. Well, your objective is clearly to subscribe to the channel. Mine is to pay NBA players to tell Ronnie what I want to get done with NBA 2K21 next gen. Simple enough. Oh, this video is gonna cost a lot of money. <laughs> It's clear to me and what I've known for a while, 2K doesn't listen to me or you or the next guy who they do listen to is NBA players. So if I want to patch fades, it shouldn't come from me, it should come from Chauncey Billups. Or Brian Scalabrini, LeVar Ball, Jimmy King. The list goes on, fellas. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, y'all watch Toronto basketball, you know Jack Armstrong. <laughs> he most famously made fun of the fact that I was wearing a hoodie when I sat courtside at this Raptors game. The legs becoming an issue, misfires from deep. Tells him. Won't be for long. Yikes. Look, look at that. Yes. Good job. The guy's wearing a sweatshirt, it's all right. Well, he's not wearing clothing like sweating. You. He doesn't have the high, high price threads that you have yeah. on there, Matty P. Well, thank you very much. He's one of the greatest broadcasters of all time. And so if it's coming from anybody, it should come from him. Hey, Jack, huge fan. I hoop with my older brother a lot, and he loves to dunk on me so he can post it to Instagram and stuff. He won't listen to me. So could you tell him to tone it down because it's really ruining my fun playing with him? Thanks. <laughs> This is 200 IQ plays here, ladies and gentlemen. 35 bones! Yeah, Jack Armstrong is gonna tell Ronnie 2K to tone down the fucking contact dogs, please! Well, he won't say it like that, but Ronnie will get the message. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Stereo. I figured it'd be dope to have you guys a part of the conversation. I've done this series a couple times in the past where I reach out to celebrities, get them to say the things I want done in NBA 2K21. So I hosted a couple conversations on Stereo. I asked you guys to join and give feedback. What do you guys want changed in the game? One of the things I like about Stereo is the fact that people in the audience can actually send voice messages up to the host and the co-host, and we can react to those messages so it kind of guides the conversation. That's what I've been doing the past couple conversations on the app. I'm gonna take some of that feedback and I'm gonna ask some of the celebrities to help make those things happen. Oh, and it got serious. 2K needs to figure out how to get back to a place where no matter what's OP, no matter what's broken in the game, people can actively get on the game and actually enjoy themselves. And have fun! Yes! of gaming wise man you are <laughs> they need to do something they need to bring back old service 2k 17 or 16 right yeah we got to get an answer to that right there man what what is the technical reason for not having the old servers why is 2k one of the only companies that two years after a game's launch they pack up them servers and you say it a lot but i'm gonna say it too no f***ing servers mm. i don't a multi-billionaire company. Nah, I don't know if they're multi, but how you how you a billionaire company with servers? They are, they are, they are multi-billionaire. Market cap is at 10 billion for Take Two, and 2K nets billions a year. So again, remember, click the top link in the description, download Stereo. It'll send you directly to the conversation. Follow me over there, 9 p.m. Eastern, February 26th, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to having a conversation, man. Y'all got some free time, pull up. How about a word of advice from one of the most prolific NBA expert analysts of all time, Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> hey, Kendrick, huge fan. I love gaming with my brother, but recently he's been using aimbots and hacks to win games. I'm worried he's gonna get our account banned. I tried asking him to stop, but he loves you, so I think it'd be helpful coming from you. And he's telling that, to Ron! <laughs> Kendrick Perkins plays 2K, I'm pretty sure, so he probably also knows Ronnie 2K, so this one's gonna hit home, I know that much. And just like that, if Zens ever do get patched, y'all know who to thank. You're welcome. Kendrick Perkins charged $142. This one's straight to Ronnie 2K from the legend Brian Scalabrini himself. I'm a big time fan. I love playing NBA 2K, but in this year's game, the only way to really win is to shoot fadeaways. Can you ask Ronnie 2K to make it so that there's more than one way to win and have fun? That way, I can play any play style. Thank you. Pretty sure I drilled that point right home. I just drilled, really, really just drilled. Oh, I just drilled that one home. Brian Scalabrini, $100. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the hunt once again. Why the f 
It's Tony Allen a thousand. <laughs> this is for the one and only Matt Barnes. Hey Matt, I'm a huge fan. I was hoping you could send a message to Ronnie from 2K asking if people playing online with their friends can get the same progression as people playing offline against bots. I prefer to play with friends, but I also want to level up. I get the reason why 2K hasn't done this because they don't have a good anti-cheat system. And so if people played online and were boosting, then they would get the first top rep way faster. But you shouldn't penalize everybody that wants to play online and get progression because you are too incompetent to come up with a good anti-cheat to catch boosters and hackers and cheaters. That literally is bad. Just because you're bad here doesn't mean everyone else should be penalized here. So hopefully Matt comes through and saves the day, man. It'd be greatly appreciate it. Matt Barnes charged $70. The one and only, the legendary, one of the best takes and the greatest takes in all of basketball is Chris Broussard. Everybody loves Chris. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I promise. That was just an accident. It's crazy how that lines up, man. Life is crazy. Hey, Chris, I'm a huge fan. Love hooping with my buddy Ron, but I'm always waiting on him every time I pull up. I want to be able to just pick him up and go straight to hooping, but there's always a hold up. I wish you'd be more prepared. Any advice? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, once the Xeon Williamson loading screen has been patched, you guys have me to thank for it. You are welcome. Chris Broussard, a cool 63 bucks. Rookie of the year. And... Oh, that might be where his accolades stop. MCW! Wow! <laughs> Wait, he was Rookie of the Year, right? Yeah, he was. Nice. Hey, MCW! Oh, I'm a huge fan. I love playing NBA 2K with my buds, but my save file just got corrupted and no one at 2K has been able to help. I'm hoping a message from you might be able to get my player back so I can play again. And so when your player doesn't get corrupted, it's me you have to thank for it. You're welcome. Hey, this is getting oddly expensive. The one and only, ooh, the legendary and the quite petite, actually. Don't be weird, guys. Damon Stoudermeyer. Hey, Damon, how are you, Sven? I'm a point guard, but my coach told me to stop doing fancy dribble combos even when I'm hooping with my friends at the park because it's not real basketball. But that's what makes basketball fun for me. What should I tell him? <laughs> 2K have been taking out a whole lot of dribble moves. Dribbling has gotten simpler than it's ever been. And I feel like something has to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, Damon can help create change. Damn, Damon Stoudemire charged 50 bucks. Oh my god. What the f? <laughs> Ronnie's on here too. Yeah, I'm about to ask Ronnie some questions. <laughs> Face of NBA 2K? Oh, he's doing it for charity. That's awesome. Oh, look at Ronnie. Good guy Ronnie in the building. All right. Hey, Ronnie. Ooh, it's Agent. I know people have asked before, but is there a technical reason why the servers for older games can't be turned on? I feel like it'd be nice to go back and play the classics from time to time. <laughs> Ronnie 2K charged $100. Oh, my God. I hope he answered that question because I don't think we've ever gotten an answer for this question that's been asked millions of times. Man, well, probably thousands. Maybe millions of times. <laughs> Ronnie just DM'd me right after I sent him that. He said, why don't you just ask me here? I responded to Ronnie. I said, it was for charity, so I figured it wouldn't hurt. Hey, I'll say this. I have went through a lot of these cameos, and I, that was the first time I seen it was for charity. Because most of the time, it's just a way to make quick money for everybody. Might as well. Just respond something on your phone real quick. Made a couple hundred dollars. Easy. The one and only legendary, um, what does he do? Ryan Hollins. Hey, Ryan, huge fan. Can you ask Ronnie 2K to increase the server capacity so I can play with more of my friends when I'm playing NBA 2K? I'd appreciate it. Thanks. $15. That's a bargain. Oh, and we got to go out with a bang. Last but not least, the one and only Taco Fall, who I accidentally called the wrong name on a second channel video last week. Hey guys, I had a brain for it. Let me go, okay? So what's Taco gonna be helping change today, huh? Hey Taco! Oh, I'm a huge fan! I was hoping you could ask NBA 2K to add fun and new rewards for leveling up on NBA 2K21, whoops. It will make the game so much more fun to play with my friends. Love playing as you, by the way. Hope you have an awesome day. Simple enough, and if he delivers, ooh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> $400. I'll reach deep into my wallet for this one right here. Damn, Taco charged 420 bones. Taco, do not let me down.
Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Hey, uh, bad news to start things off. Uh, Kendrick Perkins and Taco Fall didn't respond. I'm truly saddened that they couldn't be of use here in helping bring back all that is NBA 2K21. Your input will be deeply missed. And fuck you both. Let's get into the people who did respond. Hey, what's going on? It's your man, Ryan Hollins, a former 10-year NBA veteran. Yes, sir. Uh, ESPN CBS analyst, and I got a special ask, a, a huge ask. Uh, Ronnie2k, who? can you increase the server cut, man? Ha! It, there's a lot of people that want to play with their friends. They want to add more to the party. They can't do it in 2K. So can you increase the server cap? Ronnie, Ronnie we're please. begging you, please. Shout out James, man. Shout out James. Shout out James. So Ronnie, if you're getting this message, make sure you increase the server cap. Appreciate you, brother. Talk so- ah, My dick is so hard. <laughs> oh yes, Ryan Hollins, the greatest NBA analyst of all time. Oh, you heard it here first. The server cap, it gotta go up. That's coming from an NBA player. It ain't come from me now. Come on, stop playing with him. That's Ryan Hollins. You might have thought to yourself, can things get any better? If you're asking yourself the question, then things are probably gonna go into a downward spiral and that's as good as things I ever get. And your life is gonna become a lot more miserable and... and... But in this circumstance, it can! Damon Stoudemire, man, he responded. Ronnie, what's going on, man? Who? Damon Stoudemire here. I've been told by one of your players that you're not with all the, the fancy dribbling and all the combination moves. Yes, sir. Um, Yes, sir. You know that you don't you don't think that's real basketball. I'm here to tell you, I agree to disagree. In certain instances, sometimes you got to go to that secondary, yeah, that third move, yeah, to get something done. Yes, we can probably debate and say you're dribbling too much. No, you can't. I get it. Huh? Okay, I get it. But at the same time, too, you got to let players be players, right? Yeah. Players make coaches. Okay. Yes. That's the one thing I realized. Now, hey, Tom Brady helped us realize that, right, Damon? David knows. And I'm coaching. Players make me. As much as I want to sit here and say this and say that, players make coaches. I hope you don't take this personal. So, uh, once again, man, let them dribble a little bit. Let them do those combination moves. Let them do that. Ronnie, you didn't hear it from me because you heard it from me before and it didn't work. This time, Damon Stoudemire was the culprit. <laughs> uh, if you ask me personally, would I disrespect Damon Stoudemire and just ignore what he's saying? No, I wouldn't. I, I, would, I would go with Damon saying I just help make the game better person. That's what I would do. <laughs> it's crazy how that works, isn't it? Everybody's favorite six foot six point guard, MCW. What's up, Ronnie? This is MCW from the Orlando Magic. Who? My man Chris. His 2K file's been corrupted and locked. He has me sending you a message to, uh, you know, help him get it back so he can play again. He's just trying to hop on the 2K, man. Help him <laughs> out. See you later. Thank you, MCW. Thank you for bringing light to the very real problem that players do get corrupted. That means so much for everybody in 2K communities who dealt with that over the past like four or five years. Believe it or not, guys, it's not like a first time problem. This has been going on for fucking forever. MCW is saying here that like, you should probably take care of that problem like in general so it doesn't happen to nobody else. That's pretty much what he just said. That's not what I'm saying. That's not say nothing yet. That is what an NBA athlete for the Orlando Magic said. And as you can tell by the beautiful view behind him in his skyscraper condo in the penthouse of Orlando, that is really MCW. You can't, you, you don't just find properties like that. You have to be an NBA player. One of the greatest commentators, ooh, in the history of the NBA, man, is Jack Armstrong. He might have a couple words. I'm not sure what he's going to say. I have no clue, but let's see. Hello, Jack Armstrong here. Hey, Ronald. Bonjour. <laughs> hey. I hear you hoop, you hoop with your younger brother, yeah. Jack. I hear you love to dunk it a lot, Shanky. right? Posterize people, get it all done. <laughs> You're the man. Could you do me one favor there, Ronald? I want you dunking it on everybody else. Huh? And it's okay once in a while to dunk it on Jack. Yes. But tone it down a little bit. Yes, Jack. Because we want Jack to continue to have fun playing yes! the game. Yes. Right? And you know what? And I give Jack permission. When you go to the hoop, he's going to block your shot. You know yes. what he's going to say to yes. you? Get that garbage out of here! Get that garbage out of here, yes! 
I mean, it came from an NBA commentator, right? And he just said, tone it down a little bit. It's too much. That's all he said. But it didn't come from me, though. I will make that point clear. I, I've been blessed. And as if it couldn't get any better. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Brian Scalabini, the white mamba, the scal man. Ooh, he's up next. What's up, Ronnie 2K? It's your boy, Scalabrini. Now, the fans have spoken. Ooh, yes, they have. Here's the deal. And I know, like, the game is changing, and you're always cutting edge when yeah. it comes to the I game changing. But, you know, the NBA 2K this year, like, don't you kind of feel like we're rewarding the fadeaway jump shot a little bit too much? Now, I get it. LeBron has mastered it. A lot of guys in the post have mastered the fadeaway. But I think uh, my boy Davis is looking for more ways to win. Now, Davis doesn't know that me and you are friends. Remember that night in New York City? Like, the drinks were flowing on me to you. You know, like, you were my guy, right? That, like, that was... That was pretty nice. That was a good well, night. You had so. a good time, did you? Ronnie was throwing him back, eh? Oh my God, what is happening right now? Can you tell us that story in more detail, Brian Scalabrini? I did not know we was getting into a story time, but I'm here for it. I'm just asking for a favor. I know you hooked me up with the pink diamond and all that stuff oh, back okay. in the day. Back in the but day. But I'm just asking for a favor. Right now, the word on the street is word on the street. fadeaways is the only way to win. <laughs> I know 2K is always changing and people are always catching up to the way that you play. So how about in a month or less, you can change the style up. Let's yes. go back to pull up threes off the pick and roll or drive and kick when yes. you hit the three yes. in the corner. Guys like Davis, he wants to win with different styles of play. Different he styles. play different styles and still want to win. Like he's not a fan of the fadeaways. Coach told him no fadeaways as a favor to your boy. And don't forget that night in New York City. You know, make it so you can win more ways than just one, all right? Hopefully we'll see you on the street, man. I owe you another night out. Um, once you gave me that pink diamond, my son loves playing with me now. Before, he used to say how garbage I was, but uh, I do appreciate it. He gave me street cred with my seven-year-old, so thank you for that. That was, that was such a sad ending. Hey, I kind of want to know more about this night in New York, man. Y'all was getting up to no good. <laughs> and I'm sad to say those are the only people who responded. If you wanted to watch my last cameo video where I tried to save NBA 2K20, click this link right here. I looked a lot bigger in this video. I'm a lot smaller now. But it's still a really good video. Click the link. I'll see you guys in the next one.